Gma and Gpa Adventures do the St. Louis Aquarium at Union Station in St. Louis, Missouri. There's the entrance right behind us. And we get our tickets online so we don't have to stand a long line. It's $25 for an adult, $18 for a child, seniors 65 and over are 20, and military and first responders are 20. Two and under are free. But you can also get annual passes for 55, but you can even get it a little cheaper if you do a combo ticket. Like if you do the aquarium and the St. Louis wheel or the carousel. So that's what we did. You excited, Donna? Yes, let's see what's in there. I heard there's a big shark in there. Oh, I hope so. so okay, let's, let's go. And if you've already bought your ticket ahead of time, you just bring it to them here at the entrance and they'll scan it for you. Welcome to the aquarium. If folks are ready, at this way it's the trains. The next one should be coming up soon. Oh, this is pretty in here. This says the St. Louis Aquarium at Union Station. This big clock face is really cool. And it's actually an aquarium. It's a real working clock. While you're waiting on a train, which we don't really know what that means at this point, you get a cool light show. There's two archways there and they say two trains. So we don't know if that's an actual train or what that means. Alright guys, can you get out on the hallway? Looks like we're walking into a giant train car. Okay, all aboard. Wonderful. My name is Brenda. I'll be your conductor today on the Aquarium Express. Also, if you start to experience any dizziness or motion sickness, we won't actually be moving. So if you close your eyes or look at one of the farther windows, that should take care of it. That one actually feels like you're riding it. You feel like you're riding it? Yeah. We start our journey on September 1st, 1894, when the first train departed Union Station. When the seats vibrate, you feel like you're moving. Welcome to the St. Louis Aquarium at Union Station. Please take all of your belongings as you exit the train. Two thumbs up. That was really pretty good. cool, yeah. It's like a tour of the city yeah. in a flying train. Went underwater. You can kind of feel the movement. That was pretty cool. Right as you get off the train ride, the first thing you come to is the Confluence Gallery. And right there are fish of the Missouri and Mississippi. We're going to see some white and black crappie, some bluegill, largemouth bass, two different types of catfish, the channel cat and the blue cat. There's the catfish. Recognize those whiskers anywhere. Oh, look at these two. See this guy? I don't know what he is. He has a giant nose. Look, they're fighting each other. <laughs> like two brothers in there fighting. I want in there. No, you can't. I want in there. No, you can't. Break it up, guys. This is the aquarium map. So please select the animal. So it's called a long nose gar. I didn't even know that was in Mississippi. That's cool. This can really teach the kids too about the different fish. But you can select the tank that you're at and it'll show you what kind of fish are in there and tell you something about every species. So pretty cool, pretty educational. It sounds like a scavenger hunt type thing. That's station one where they can like scan a game card. overhead swimming right above us that's cool and over there is a tank full of what they call doctor fish you can put your hand in the water and they come and nibble on your fingers what does it feel like it feels wow. like your hands kind of vibrating a little bit like your hand falls asleep or something yeah like, like tingles wow. a little bit yeah that is really weird and they're called doctor fish yes. red gara they're from western asia though they're used in spas all around the world for manicures 
so you can come to the St. Louis Aquarium and get a free spa treatment. It says please wash your hands before and after touching animals. So now we're walking around the corner after he, Stan had his spa treatment. I was explaining to the children that uh, if you see a scuff mark on, like there's somebody has a head, got it, it's because when they feed them in the morning, sometimes there's a frenzy and they're going at it, they don't even see it's another one of their own. Oh, wow. oh my goodness. Oh, it's an otter. A North American river otter. They're good swimmers. There they are. Hi, buddy. How long can they hold my breath? Great question. So I can hold my breath up to eight minutes. Wow. But eight minutes is a really long time. So I prefer just to do about one or two minutes, and then a lot of times I'll go back up for air. Thanks for coming, you guys. Bye. There's a tiny little frog in there. Isn't he cute? He's so cute. This is called the sand table. Kids and parents alike love playing in the sand. That's where we started on the first floor. Now we're going up to the second floor. And to your right as you get off the escalator is the river otter exhibit. We can see their play area downstairs in that tank. But this is where they hang out all day when they're not in the water. And that's them over there playing. And there's a lot of open air exhibits up here some of which are hands-on. We didn't see any maps that they handed out, but there are these screens all over, so you can access an aquarium map anytime you want to, and it'll tell you on the screen where you are in relation to the map. You are here. Right by the river otters, there's an animal encounter area. Are they poisonous, then? These guys are not. Uh, these are not venomous snakes. These guys are constrictors. Um, so that means they'll squeeze their prey when they want to find something to eat. Wow. Um, so by the time that Nugget here is full grown, he'll be anywhere from 100 to 150 pounds or so. Wow. So they do get quite large. So this is called the Stream Water Table River Play Zone. And kids can actually just play in the water. Things and let the water come through. And there's houses and boats in here. Aw, cool. Are they snapping turtles? Uh, they are. So we have red ear sliders and Cumberland sliders. The red ears are noticeable by their red ear like markings on the side of their head. And there's also the Cumberland sliders are the same, except they have yellow on the side of their heads. This one is a hands on exhibit. She said you can touch anything that's in here. There's urchins, shrimp, starfish, uh, decorator crab over there. Everything in here is alive and real. You can touch anything you see. You can touch anything you see. Just very gentle two fingers and please don't pick anyone up or move them. Hard and weird. <laughs> this is Lord Stanley. He was officially the first resident of the St. Louis Aquarium. And they named him Lord Stanley because the St. Louis Blues won the Stanley Cup Championship in 2019. So that's kind of his namesake. That's cool. He's got a lot of blue on him which matches the St. Louis Blues. This is the Stingray tank. They swim around and you're allowed to touch them. Here comes another one. This guy's bigger. Okay, Stan, how did that feel? It's a little slimy. Real slick. There's a bigger one right there. It must be like the papa or the mama. Here's one. It's a baby Pac-Man frog. They are named Pac-Man because of the shape of their body. Um, they are very round, but they're also about half mouth, so they look like a little video game. <laughs> but more properly, they're called the Chihuahuan horned frog. It's about seven different species of horned frogs. They get that name because of those little horns that they have right above their eyes. So this is kind of like the where the kids can touch and feel different things. That's the stingray encounter right there. That's where the sea urchins and the starfish were. 
And then there's where the frog was. This guy is a loggerhead sea turtle. Oh, okay. So it's one of the largest sea turtle species we have on uh, planet Earth. Um, really beautiful, graceful species. Um, it is endangered, so uh, we're working on protecting them. But uh, they have this really strong jaw here, really sharp beak um, that all turtles have. But these guys eat some of the softest things in the ocean. These guys eat jellyfish. Little fish tanks along the wall that you can look at. There's a dory, or blue tang, I think it's called. Very pretty. We're still on the second floor, and now we're going to go down to Shark Canyon. The hallway looks like you're going underwater. So there's another big viewing area here. Benches where you can just sit and watch. It is kind of relaxing just to watch them swim. Striped fish, zebra fish. Three different species. We have uh, uh, sandbar sharks, black and nose sharks, and then nurse sharks. So on the floor we have our Goliath grouper. Uh, he's currently about 70 pounds uh, and is projected to get anywhere between three to 400 pounds. There are some seahorses. Wow. It's almost like they glow in the dark. Yeah. I haven't seen her this morning, so I'm not sure exactly where she is. Yeah. <laughs> she's already been fed, so. Yes, yeah, she's probably like, oh, oh, there's come back later, so right? The octopus is really good at hiding, and we haven't seen her yet. Jellyfish. They're big ones. Wow. How do they sting? Just those tentacles. And another type of jellyfish over here. Smaller than the others. And that's the last room. And now we exit and go to the gift shop. You get all kinds of St. Louis Aquarium souvenirs. Here's a headband. St. Louis Aquarium Union Station. Photo frames. And toys. And some stuffed animals over here. Even some St. Louis Blues merchandise in honor of Lord Stanley. So Donna, what did you think of the St. Louis Aquarium? I liked it. I, I give it too. two thumbs up. Definitely. I'd say nine out of ten. Just because nobody ever gets perfection, right? No. And it's not huge, but it's really nice. They've done a great job with yeah, it. Yeah, I think so too. I love the train ride. Yeah. I love seeing the sharks. I love stingrays. It's just mesmerizing. Yeah. I could spend at least another hour in there just sitting watching them. Bye! Goodbye. Come to the aquarium if you get the chance.